Hello and welcome. So yes, we're here for another review. Uh, I'm going to speak in my native tongue para hindi rin tayo masyadong uh, <laughs> formal. Okay, alright. So I'm here to, uh, to show you because I've been doing this uh, project recently. And I'm trying to do my own personal uh, uh, cloud storage. So today we'll be reviewing a an attachment for the Raspberry Pi. So what's a Raspberry Pi? A Raspberry Pi is a uh, single board computer. Uh, basically, uh, it's really good for doing uh, small projects, IT projects. For example, you want to make your own uh, server, sa bahay. If you don't, if you can't afford, or if you wanna use a computer that's power efficient, meaning you don't need ha to have a big computer to run your uh, IT project. And uh, the Raspberry Pi is a is a fit for this small projects, no? So ito yung Raspberry Pi, so as you can see. So I bought this one over uh, in our local online shopping, Lazada. And uh, so this computer is a 4 gigabyte RAM with a quad core uh, processor, no? It has a gigabit internet, Wi-Fi, LAN, and Bluetooth also. So a lot of the information that I I'd be sharing today, I'll put in our in our blog site. Yes. So other than this, I bought um, uh, a SATA hat. What is a SATA hat? It's basically an attachment that you you add to your Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, this is a is a chassis. Uh, kasama dun sa binili ko no? so yung binili kong uh, SATA hat comes with this chassis and all of the other equipments that you need so yes so if I open it up para makita ninyo so I'll show you what it looks like there so I disassembled it so that you can see so this uh, SATA hat comes with this chassis beautiful chassis diba? as you can see it's just about the size of a coke bottle right? so it has uh, like LED ports that uh, LED indicators that tell you the status of your hard drive so if you open it up I, te I take I took off the cover no so yeah so this is the cover Right, so as you can see, this is your Raspberry Pi underneath this one, diba? So this, the blue ones are the USB 3 interfaces, right? And then it's connected here, sa akanyang GPIO here. Assemble ko na so that uh, you see. Right, the good thing about this SATA hat when you buy it online, I bought it from Allnet China. I'll share all the links to you in our blog site so that you'll be able to also get and have your own. So it has a it has a, a chassis, a power adapter, and then it has this USB connector. The USB connector basically, you know, links the two USB interfaces. Okay, and then also has the fan upper fan it has this uh, bracket so that you can mount your SSD or HDD depending on which you prefer I personally like SSD because it's a lot faster uh, I, but I didn't buy the expensive one because uh, if you buy like a standard price for SSD it's around 6,000 so but this one I got I got it really really nice and then as you can see um, this is how it looks no? the SATA hat itself is connected by the, via the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi right? and then of course you have to put an SD card right there and then as you can see this base this is all metal balano. this is the one that you mount in your, your device and then it also acts as like a, 
an exhaust cooling cooling as uh, cooling metal right right so when you assemble it just put it like this then mount it like that right so everything fits very very well now as you can see it even has the those open port openings you can put in your hdmi your your standard sound jack and of course the power adapt which is also included when you buy it from the allnet china okay and then it also has this so to connect it that and that basically connects your gpio and then this is the top it also includes cover real cover and all the screws that you'll be needing to basically lock right. so we'll power it on later so that you can see how it looks like and then i'll discuss more later on what software i used so that you'll be able to do your own personal cloud storage uh, for those who are familiar with cloud storage is also known as the nas network attached storage okay so this is not a, a more affordable solution but it's i think it's more compact compared to buying synology or or a wd which is a lot expensive i think this one is uh, i think it's the budget but it really depends on the hard drive that you're gonna attach because if you attach a a hdd and that the cost will bring down it will, will be much much cheaper pero if you attach like a two terabyte ssd uh, that would that would mean really expensive so we'll be back and i'll show you later what when it's powered on so there i have assembled it again so as you can see it's now uh, firmly secured right and then we'll try to power it on so i've plugged this device already and i'll see uh, here put it power it will power up there it's uh, lighting up uh, it's just not visible the, the light as I'm using a flashlight but yes uh, it's like it's turning on uh, let's see there see there's a LED there's an activity going on in this device and then as you can see from the top there it's telling you that it's being uh, starting off so it even tells you the CPU temperature even if the IP address, it will tell you. However, I'm not connected to the network because usually I connect this through the LAN port. And I haven't really configured the Wi-Fi, so it, it doesn't show any IP address. It also shows uh, earlier if, um, how much memory does the Raspberry Pi is occupying or using right now. And the temperature, as you can see. There, there's the memory. And then the next one will show you the hard drives that is connected to it. There, see. So for those who are using Linux, it tells you the device where the two hard drives are mounted. Right, as you can see. There, good. So the fan is also working. Uh, it's running really, really quietly. Uh, and here in front, it shows you uh, LED indicators. I I mounted the hard drives on uh, SATA one and four. This comes with four slots, so you can attach four hard drives here. Maximum capacity it can handle is around ten terabytes. But you know, uh, I'm going to use this as a, a project later uh, for my software development. I plan to use this as a uh, NFS storage for my 
a cluster we'll do more videos of that also so there uh, this is a really nice uh, device that you can have or what's the application uh, for those who want their media files to be stored in your home personal network uh, this is a good uh, alternative uh, not the most uh, cost effective though but it's really compact and it's really really nice where, so you can have it you know uh, elegantly displayed if you want <laughs> but yes uh, for those who doesn't like to share uh, st so, uh, store their their media files on on the cloud like using Google or, or Apple you can just copy or you know move your files to this network storage and it's there uh, you don't have to pay for monthly subscriptions and, and all of that but, but yeah so also if you're into like downloading files you can you can use your Raspberry Pi to download files for you uh, you can even use this one as a CCTV storage if you like uh, well that's it so uh, we'll show you the software later in the, in the uh, so that you'll be able to see uh, what software you can install in, in this device right so there we've already installed the operating system for our Raspberry Pi uh, with a custom SATA hat and right now I've installed Open Media Vault so in that machine and in that machine you can see our disks so in my last video you saw I just installed one disk or two disks right now I installed four uh, with the same uh, capacity it's all uh, running 240 gig each so right now I about I have about 800 gigabytes in, in that uh, uh, storage and from here I can manage my my disk if I want to and also can create users and shared folders well the good thing about having a NAS at home is that you can create a share, shared folder in the network so right now I have I have uh, that NAS and shared all the drives here as you can see right so how fast is it let's see uh, it, of course it will depend on the network but you can really copy a lot of files here and since it's an uh, SSD, it's a lot that faster. So there, so there you have it. So it's really nice because uh, it's you can actually browse through through all of the disks since it's shared. So you can share it either using uh, a Windows share or a Linux share. So there are so many things that you can do with having this now. So that's it. Thank you very much, and I hope you also find this blog uh, informative. Subscribe and uh, watch out for our next videos. Thank you.